Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Elle. I do mostly bookish videos, but sometimes other stuff too. And I have had one hell of a weekend. I have been trying to sit down and film this little story time, and it just, life was not wanting me to film this week, but I am determined to stay consistent for the rest of the year. So, here I am, this video is getting made. So like I mentioned, today I am doing a bit of a story time. I wanted to tell you about my COVID booster shot experience because it was way different than the first two doses. Per usual with my story times, grab a drink, grab a snack, settle in, and let me tell you about this booster shot. So I think I need to just very quickly tell you about my first two doses in order to give a bit of context as to why I was taken so off guard. For all of my three doses, I have stuck with the Pfizer vaccine. I know that they said with this booster shot, you can mix and match what you want to do. I just decided to stay with what my body already knew. So all three of them have been Pfizer. So with the first dose, I don't remember having any major side effects and I'm pretty sure I vlogged that first day that I got my first dose. So I will link that up in the cards for you in case you're curious. The only thing I remember, and I do think this was mainly my fault, was having an extremely sore arm. I remember it was so bad that at one point I could not pull my pants up. For some reason I felt like, okay, can't move. I can't move this arm. I must keep this arm still in order for my body to absorb all of the vaccine goodness. I don't know what I was thinking, but in my head I felt like I had to keep this arm very still. I have since learned that no, you're actually supposed to do the opposite. You're supposed to keep the arm moving. That's why they recommend the right arm, or at least they did at my CVS here in my town. So because I was determined to keep this arm very, very still, I experienced very bad arm soreness. It was insane. It was a little ridiculous because I couldn't even pull up my own pants, but that was it. Like that was the only side effect that I experienced and I really feel like I did that to myself. It wasn't the vaccine. With dose number two, I had, again, learned more. I had more knowledge. I was prepared. I did all of the tips that the CVS email sent. It was like drink 16 ounces so and so minutes before your appointment. Keep your arm moving, you know, these little rotation exercises. So I did all of that. I drank my water as soon as I got the vaccine. I did little rotation exercises forwards and backwards. And I was golden. I had no side effect, very minimal, barely perceivable arm soreness. It was a great experience that second time around. Then came the booster shot. Obviously, I understand that everyone has had varying reactions to the vaccine. I'm just telling you about my experiences. My fiance and I have been keeping an eye on the news. As soon as it was okayed for everyone over 18 to get it, we immediately signed up, made our appointments, and the first available appointment that we had was November 26th which was the day after Thanksgiving. We scheduled it for 11 in the morning. We figured if we need to like recover, like if we were to have any side effects, at least we'll have all of Friday to recover and then still get to enjoy our Saturday and Sunday. Again, we weren't expecting major side effects. So we did some Black Friday shopping in the morning and then at 11, we headed to our COVID appointment or booster vaccine appointment. I tried drinking the 16 ounces of water, but I was having some tummy problems. My stomach was not agreeing with me that day, so I could not drink the water. I felt like if I drank the water, I was going to throw up, so that seemed counterproductive. So I decided to skip the water. This booster shot appointment was like cursed from the beginning. First of all, we got there at 1030, a whole 30 minutes before our appointment, but CVS doesn't let you check in until 15 minutes prior to your appointment. So we were like there perusing around for 15 minutes before we check in. And then we check in and they ask us for our vaccine cards. 
and I had left them in my other purse which was at home, which was about 15 minutes away from the CVS. So we had to rush drive home so I could pick up both of our vaccine cards because I am the document person in my relationship. The lady was like, yeah, go ahead and get them. What am I gonna do, not give you the booster vaccine? And I was like, you right, I mean, true. I immediately felt different when I got this booster shot. I had a lot of soreness and pain at the injection site as soon as the needle went in with my previous two doses it w it took a little bit before the soreness actually kicked in and for this booster shot i felt actual pain like my arm hurt so i didn't let that deter me though i did my exercises there in the car my mom and my sister thought i was ridiculous we probably got home at about 12 30 or 1. my fiance immediately passed out and took a nap now i don't know if that was from the vaccine or because we had gotten so little sleep the night before. We went to bed really late and we woke up early for the Black Friday shopping. I decided to also take a nap with him because I was really tired and I feel like I hadn't been tired that morning. But again, sleeplessness can catch up to you, right? So it, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who's to blame here. My arm was really sore even though I had done all of my exercises. It was about five or six when we woke up again and I felt horrible. I just felt sick where there's like nothing particularly wrong with you or like a, an area that I can pinpoint where I was feeling this illness. Just my whole body, I didn't feel right. I felt sick. We spent the rest of that day in bed at about 11, I think. My fiance and I were like, okay, we should probably get out of the house some. Like, we need to do something. So we decided to go to Meyer, grab some snacks so that we could watch TV. We went to Meyer and we both were about to collapse. I mean, it was intense the unwellness that we felt i mean we immediately wanted to go home but we like both hadn't wanted to say anything to each other so we were like all the way in the back of the store and i told him i was like i can't do this anymore like i need to go home i feel like i can't push the cart anymore and he was like same i think this was a bad idea i mean we regretted the decision greatly we were feeling so so terrible and that whole night like all of Friday night was just terrible I'm pretty sure I cried at one point because I was like I cannot stand feeling this way I hate feeling sick I hate feeling weak in the night I couldn't sleep like just everything ached and nothing could comfort me my fiance ended up running a fever during the night I'm sure I did too I remember having like random weird thoughts that had nothing to do with the situation I mean we were both sleeping and I think like in our feverish dreams we were both communicating with each other but it wasn't like they were just two random separate thoughts that we were just throwing at each other. He woke up the next morning feeling pretty much almost his total self again. He was able to go home, take a shower, like he was fine the next morning. I spent the rest of Saturday feeling just like crap, just crap. I cannot even describe to you how horrendous I felt. It probably wasn't until 11 at night no it was probably before like 9 or 10 saturday night that i finally started to feel like okay i can eat now i can stand i can walk to the living room i don't feel like i'm gonna collapse anymore so it took like a good 36 hours because here's my thing Friday night when we were both feeling terrible, I was like, okay, I've heard people say that it just lasts 24 hours, that by the next day, you're totally fine and dandy again. So I was still thinking Friday night, okay, we're just gonna take this day, feel what we've gotta feel, experience what we've gotta experience, and then on Saturday, we're gonna continue with our Thanksgiving holiday, you know, just enjoy each other's company, take our dog out to the park, just have a grand, time because that's what i had heard was that even if you got side effects in 24 hours they were gone well i took about 36 hours i would say i don't know if the math adds up but that's what i'm gonna say it took 36 hours and it just kicked our butts it really did i don't know why this time was so different i don't know if because our bodies 
were like weak from little sleep? Was it because I didn't take my 16 ounces of water? I don't know, but it was a terrible experience. One more thing I forgot to mention, my injection site actually bruised. It's currently Wednesday and I haven't checked to see if it is still bruised, but at least Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I had purple. I don't know what that means, but it was bruised. I don't know what happened. This experience was just so different from my first two, and I just wanted to share that with you because I don't want you to go in blind like I did, and I know everyone's going to have different reactions to it, but you should still be warned. Don't make plans after your booster shot for at least 36 hours just to be safe. That's all I have for you. I hope you were able to enjoy it or at least learn something from this story time. Let me know down in the comments if you've gotten your booster shots. Have you had a similar experience or were you one of the lucky ones? Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My name is Elle. Get your booster shots and I'll see you in next time's video.